Hi Rachel and Eve. This video is for you too. And I'm going to talk about the etymology of both of your names. Um, so let's start with Rachel. Or Rachel in Hebrew. That's a young sheep, a you. And it's very interesting to see that the matriarchs, many of them actually, three out of four matriarchs, uh, have names related to animals. Both Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, or by their Hebrew names, Rivka, Leah, and Rachel, have names related to um, cows or sheep and flock, um, related to the pastoral society or the pastoral nature of our forefathers. That's a little bit about Rachel, obviously very, very famous uh, Jewish name, Rachel. Uh, so we had the wife of Jacob, Rachel, the mother of Joseph and Benjamin. We have Rachel, the wife of Rabbi Akiva, possibly or definitely one of the most famous rabbis in uh, Second Temple period, late Second Temple period, and even in the aftermath of the destruction of the Second Temple. And we have Rachel, who was the wife of our second president, Rachel Yanait ben Tzvi. And more famous than her is possibly the most uh, famous modern Israeli poet, Rachel. She was such a famous poet that, that her common name is Rachel HaMeshoreret, Rachel the poet. Her name was Rachel Blubstein. But uh, everybody knows her as Rachel HaMeshoreret, and I have her, a picture of her with me. That's Rachel HaMeshoreret, Rachel the poet. She's standing proudly on a 20 shekel note here. So that's for Rachel, Rachel. Now a little bit about Eve, or by her Hebrew name Chava. There are various different etymological suggestions as far as the name Chava. The most common and the most obvious and probably the most uh, down-to-earth etymological connection, uh, at least in the basic plain sight level, is the mother of every living thing. She who makes life. Chava. That's a nominal structure that indicates uh, professionals, so the professional of life, giving life. Another uh, etymological explanation is related to a close root, that is Chet, Vav, and Yod, and that root has to do with speaking, and it is uh, hardly a secret that women, and Chava is the first woman, Eve is the first woman to be created, women are more gifted verbally you know, uh, neurological scientists have shown that women have an advantage in that field. A third etymological explanation for the name Chava has to do with the Aramaic word Chivya, a snake. And you can see the connection and how Eve, Chava, the mother of life, by her talking, speaking, again, the second etymological explanation, to the snake, to the chivya, is what moves the plot and uh, what causes us to be here instead of heaven. So that's a little bit about the name Chava and the name Rachel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.